So we continue to hear about the importance of developing widespread antibody testing as we move forward through the coronavirus crisis. But as with so many things in this pandemic, that's proven to be very challenging. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us to help explain what antibodies are and why developing a test for them is so complicated. I decided to get creative, as in claymation creative. I'm going to start at the very beginning and assume you don't know anything about antibodies. This will be a super simplified explanation of antibodies and how they defend against viruses. Now, once I explain that, I'll explain why we want to measure antibodies and the difficulty in doing it. These are viruses invading the body. All viruses are covered with proteins that have different shapes and functions. Some of these shapes are really critical to making the virus dangerous. Others are less essential. This will be important later. Now, the first time your body is infected by a virus that you've never been exposed to before, you don't have any antibodies to help defend yourself. Luckily, there are other ways that your immune system fights invaders until special antibody-making cells get to work, but that takes a while. Now, eventually, after a few days of infection, those antibody-making cells are ready, and they start cranking out antibodies. Antibodies are Y-shaped. They have special arms that grab onto the different shapes of proteins on the surface of a virus. These surface proteins are called antigens. Now, it's important to understand, the antibodies you make are directed at these different shaped antigens. For example, some go after a pointy one, others a rounded one, and so on. Now, because some of the antigens on the surface of a virus are necessary for the virus to remain harmful, when an antibody grabs them, it can neutralize the virus. These so-called neutralizing antibodies are the best antibodies. Now, some antibodies grab less important antigens on the surface of a virus. They might not neutralize the virus, but they mark it for destruction by other parts of the immune system. Once you make antibodies against a specific antigen, your body keeps some of them circulating around in case that invading virus shows up again. The cells that made those antibodies also keep a record so they can make more of them faster the next time around. So, a couple of things to remember. First, when you make antibodies, they are really directed at specific parts of the virus, not the entire virus. And not all antibodies are equal in strength against an invader. The bottom line is, if you have antibodies to specific parts of a virus, it means your body has already been exposed to them. The antibodies are just basically proof of that history. Back to you.